Welcome back to Classic Game Room. If you're looking for a truly terrible Sonic the Hedgehog game, look no further than this one. It's Sonic Jam on the GameCom. How does Sonic the Hedgehog do anything? His hands are so big and floppy. It doesn't matter because this is a new low for the GameCom. Sonic the Hedgehog, the world's fastest video game hero on the world's slowest, clunkiest, most horrible handheld game console. It's a perfect storm of awfulness. I know what you're thinking, man, Mark sucks at Sonic the Hedgehog, and that's true enough, but this game and the GameCom suck at Sonic even more than I do. Everyone's favorite hedgehog is at it again, and he's jamming. No, no he's not. This is unspeakably terrible, and what makes it even worse is that you can't play the GameCom with giant Sonic the Hedgehog hands. And maybe that's a good thing, it's rubbish after all, and while the GameCom isn't known for being good, we expect some level of quality behind Sonic the Hedgehog. He is Sega's mascot after all, and one of the world's most beloved video game characters. So what is he doing on the GameCom when it can't run Sonic the Hedgehog? This entire game is false advertising. It does not do what the packaging says that it does. For starters, it does not deliver high-speed action-packed adventure, and it's certainly not non-stop fun. The single biggest offender is simply the licensing of Sonic the Hedgehog. Claiming this is a Sonic game would be like advertising a pancake breakfast and then showing up only to get punched in the mouth. Not only can you not see what's going on, but it plays horribly. However, the GameCom music is starting to grow on me. I kind of like the tunes. Sonic Jam on the GameCom makes me sad. It makes me sad because somewhere, some kid was suckered into buying one of these things, thinking it would be good. Like, oh, I get three Sonic games in one. No, no, you just get one giant headache. But I do have two people to thank for sending it to the show. Chip from Anniston, Alabama, and Andrew from Burlington, New Jersey. I wonder how much money Sega made from this game. I'm gonna go with 80 cents. Maybe. False advertising, misrepresentation, and a giant crappy game. It's Sonic Jam on the GameCom. Jam packed with an incalculable amount of suckitude.